Six minutes after 9 o'clock. Beautiful looking Tuesday morning. That music means it's time for In the Garden with Carol Ann. Carol Ann Baldwin is your hostess for the next 54 minutes. And uh, she'll be answering your questions or just talking to you about whatever it is you want to talk about. The number is 622-9622. Good morning, Carol Ann. Good morning, Larry. How are you doing I'm this doing morning? pretty good. This yeah. fir- first full day of, of summer. summer. That's right. And we've had, who could pick two more gorgeous days? Yesterday, Yesterday and today. Nice. Last night was uh, nice. It was just it wasn't hot. It was cool. I, yeah. This morning when, when I got up. Now, yesterday when I get in my car, you know, all the cars nowadays have the external thermometers, mm-hmm. you know, and that. And my car said it was 68 degrees. It was went, nice. Woo. It's, and, and it's one of those things of, yes, in when it's been hot out, 68 can feel cool. That's right. You know, in, in the wintertime, 68 is, is starting to feel warm. Yeah, you know, that's and, true. Right, that's true. Yeah, yeah. You know, when it's been ninety degrees out, sixty eight's actually a little bit cool, and and the, just the whole day was pretty nice. Had a pretty good breeze and everything. Just a great day to be outside. Today again, it starts out you know nice, cooler even yet. I yeah, think it was yeah, like sixty six yeah. or something when I. Uh, either heard a weather report or something that said it was like 66 degrees i was like wow felt that's, good yeah. felt good and, and enjoy it while it's and the here. early early sunrise you know you I, the time i yeah. get up is always so early it's, right. it's unusual for me to get here and see blue in the sky at all right and, right. and so i could not only could i see blue but i could hear birds singing it was oh, like oh wow oh man yeah. can i can i skip can i, can I right. play, hooky I just play hooky today right, yeah, yeah. right. Nah, well if you did see you wouldn't be here with me that's right. Who you'd be there talking you to? I'd be talking Dan, to Dan and be saying, "What? Somebody, what happened? Where, where did, did he go? go? Yeah, he never went is to out. The beach. He didn't. He went. To, he said he he went to one of them snorkeling locations. And, <laughs> oh, did you hear that? <laughs> and segment? escaped. Yes that, yes. that sounds like well. See, I, I want to go swimming because I yeah. can't swim for a year. They told me because of my leg. Thing. Oh, because of the wound. It's not, right, it's not right. a big deal, but, it, but it's just it's still it's annoying. Yeah. 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 Now that you can't do it, then you I know you may not have swam all of last year, but this year because you're not allowed is when you want to do it the exactly. most. Exactly. So, yeah, it's always one of those things. Yeah, it's still, it's like dieting. Oh, you can't have chocolate cake? What is it that you want? Chocolate cake. <laughs> you know, you yeah, you crave it. Yeah, you walk past yeah. chocolate cake and, you know, Google yeah. it. But back to gardening. <laughs> you handed me a neat little thing here. It says plants that heal. Oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was a, yeah. a thing circulating this morning, plants That's, that heal. Yeah, plants that heal. Um, I, I'm sure people have gotten know of a few of them, especially those who do a lot of herb gardening. Um, they are probably the, are growing some of these. What are on your wrists? What, is that oh, this is, this is um, actually it, the taping procedure. Yeah, uh, everybody, where's my camera? It's right here, anybody right here, right here. Right here. <laughs> anybody yeah. sees, I got the I blue, mean, they look sporty. Blue, yes, it, and it's sports medicine tape. I had injections okay. a couple of weeks ago for the carpal tunnel. Okay. And in I just, both hands. In both hands, yeah. Wow. And so wow. what I'm doing is just offering a little further healing. The the K tape seems to so, oh, uh, really? aid in healing or preventing. Well, that's interesting. You know, yeah. So we'll see how. Any know. plants that'll help you with that? <laughs> um, probably not. It's it's me and my repetitive motion activities at uh-huh, work uh-huh. and the rest of it. So <clears throat> I'm sorry, um, I didn't even notice. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, you know no, what it is? I got this computer screen in, in my way. In front of right, right. Yeah, yeah. But yes, I'm sporting blue and black. It comes in many colors. But no, I do recommend. You know, I recommend. I used it for uh, tendonitis a few years ago. 
and it and worked. It, yeah, it worked. Huh. It was better, much better, much more comfortable than the than the br- the braces that that just pinch. They never quite fit mm. me right. They pinch. They were sweaty. They were hot. This is cool. It dries. You know, you can wash your hands. The only drawback is is you can't put on lotion. No. Because that'll be what'll destroy the adhesive. Uh-huh, right. But heat and water yeah. and the rest of it doesn't. So yeah. if you have an injury or something like that that's sort of sports-related or repetitive motion, they they have different methods of taping for plantar fasciitis, uh, muscle pulls, knee injuries, shoulders you were talking about, um, uh, tendonitis, this is carpal tunnel, uh, thumb stabilization, all kinds of different ones. So hmm. You just you, you Google it up on YouTube, but but K tape kinesiology, it's uh, a few years. Well, whenever what was it? The last Olympics, the last summer maybe, Olympics. Maybe. I don't know. I think it might have been the last summer Olympics. So we're talking still four years. Four ago? years ago. Yeah. Okay, uh, it might have even been a little longer than that. But you saw a lot of the swimmers had it on their backs and things okay, and stuff like okay. that where you, where you can actually see the body uh-huh, uh-huh. you know there's not too many you know not not most of the sports you can't and that, right, that's, right, where, right. that's where i learned about it you know, huh. but was after that whole thing so it's something different it has nothing to do with and it's with a gardening. cool color yeah i picked the blue and, and the it black goes with your shirt. And it got, yes i matched to that <laughs> well your shirt goes with, yeah, it, with maybe. it right right all different colors to match whatever your personality is very but good. You know, so if you have something, actually, if you do have something that keeps you from going out in the garden and, and doing things like that, it's something to look into. Or other plants that heal. I mean, some of these that they can be made into, uh, you know, we all use um, uh, different menthol rubs or capsaicin rubs for arthritis and achy joints and things like that. And some of these others, you know, if you can grow your own, can do those same uh, type of things. Okay. I can't remember what it was, but there was one time, gosh, I feel like I was a lot younger, but I... I had something and my mom suggested using the aloe plant. Right. So like an idiot, instead of listening to my mom, I went uh-huh. to the store to buy aloe. And bu- right. But you know, it's not the same. When you buy a jar or a bottle that says aloe, Right. It's not the same as if you just simply get if the you plant. Just go gra- well, right, because if you grab the plant and you, you pinch up, you know, break off a leaf, rinse it off, trim you know, trim it, split it open, you have pure aloe gel. And that actually made and a difference. Yeah, you know, that there's nothing with whatever added, was going on, I nothing, can't remember it now. It might have been a rash, a bug bite, uh, sunburn, you know, it's got a myriad of different uses. Dry skin, you know, if you got an area that just is say flaky or something, you just take and rub a little on. Um right. The stuff you buy commercially unless you're getting it at, at a health food store usually has something added to it mm-hmm. uh, there's you know glycerins or, or alcohol even uh, most of them I don't think put a fragrance in but yeah if you ever buy the over the counter stuff and you have a sunburn or it's you get out of the, the shower same. it actually kind of stings a little bit until yeah, it, it goes yeah, away yeah I remember that um, but now, if you go to some place like a, a natural store, a health food store, you can probably find the pure really? aloe uh, juice or aloe gel because there's some people who take it internally. Um, I, I prefer it for, you know, after a good day in the sun or in the wintertime um, with the wind and the cold, you know, did it always ta- does my face in that real bad. Did so. I ever tell you the story about the guy who had the old cat? Old cat. And he fed the old cat a teaspoon of aloe mixed in with the cat food every morning. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. That that was like he had the world's oldest cat. And they said, how come? Why? What do you do? Any secrets? And he attributed it to aloe. I mean, to who knows? Aloe. It could right. have just been one of those things. It but. could have been, right, just a, a cat with good genes. But <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, there's other other type of things like that. Uh, some people will swear by the apple cider vinegar on those same kind of things. Mm. So, and, uh, but again, sort of it's not going to hurt you. Um you know, always, you know, if you do take any medications, always check with your doctor because herbal remedies can sometimes uh, uh, counter any, you know, regular prescription drugs. <laughs> but, you know, if you just got some simple things, I mean, some of these things you can you can grow yourself. Echinacea, that's purple cone flower. The aloe, again, we all know the bites, burns, bites, cuts, and scrapes, one of the easiest ones to grow. Um, chamomile is... Um, you know, chamomile tea. It's a it's a flowering flowering herb, almost kind of weedy. Tastes good too. Yeah, yeah, and it's good. It soothes stress, relaxes as a tea. Externally, bites, stings, skin irritations. Some of that same kind really? of thing. So you make really? a little tea out of that, and you know, and use it as a as a uh, something rubbed on. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah. Uh, we've got more when we come back. If you want to call in, the number is six two two nine six two two. Caroline is here all the way through ten. 
And by the way, did I tell you I'm thinking about Daytona today? <gasps> we'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. For this Tuesday, a mix of sun and clouds, high 85 to 89. And mainly clear Tuesday night, low 68 inland, 73 along the coast. For Wednesday, plenty of sunshine, the high 88 to 92. And for Thursday, sunshine mixing with clouds, there can be a passing thunderstorm, the high 90 to 94. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. People say stop and smell the roses, but that's not easy when your nose always closes. When life gets busy and your nose flares into a tizzy, acupuncture can clear up your nose so that you don't sound like Miss Piggy. Come see me, Dr. Erica Olstein, at A Better You Healthcare just off of 27th Avenue behind the Paddock Mall. Call today to set your acupuncture appointment, 352-615-5566, and visit abetteryouhealthcare.com. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Workers who listened to nature sounds performed better on tough cognitive tests than those who did the tasks in silence. Spices like curry and red pepper especially contain compounds that rev up your metabolism. And at bedtime, that not only makes it harder to fall asleep, it also increases the risk of having vivid, disturbing dreams. If you're having trouble getting things done and reaching your goals, it could be down to the way you speak to yourself. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Yeah, I'm that drip coming down from the corner of the room. But where did I come from? I'll never tell. Own Dry Roof and Can and we'll fix it right the first time using quality materials and we'll deal honestly and fairly with you, period. You can find Bone Dry Roofing on their website, Bone Dry Roofing, LLC.com, and Facebook at Bone Dry Roofing, LLC. Do it right before your roof needs a tarp to keep the elements out. Bone Dry Roofing stands behind their work to help make your home safe and secure, plus they have financing available. Remember, if you're not bone dry, then you're all wet. Hi, I'm Big Daddy Don Garlitz asking you to support adoption by purchasing a Choose Life license plate from your county tax office. You know it costs a lot to give a child life. Many times a woman is forced to make a bad choice because of financial pressures. Help save the lives of the unborn children by aiding women whom choose life instead of abortion. Take a stand for life. Purchase your Choose Life license plate today. For more information go to ChooseLife.org or call 352-624-2854. Putting the local back into radio. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. W-O-C-A News. Variety. Information. Now. Keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times. W-O-C-A. AM 1370. 96.3. 96.3. FM. 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 We are the source, W-O-C-A. 18 minutes after 9 o'clock, it is 80 degrees here at the studios, broadcasting live from the Paddock Mall. Let's return to Carol Ann Baldwin in the Garden with Carol Ann. Remember, the phone line is open, and the number is 622-9622. Yep. And uh, we were talking before the break that we have a little thing here on plants that heal. It's, you know, and most... Um a lot of this stuff we can grow in this area that ginger uh garlic uh fennel echinacea cranberries no but um you can get different cranberry you know um remedies uh-huh. from health food stores or fresh cranberry just consuming you know the cranberry as, as we usually say with with anything that's going to be healthy the darker the color the better the the health benefits oh, and really? cranberries are the ver- one of those dark, dark red okay. uh, type of things. That's why dark leafy greens, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. dark red uh, fruits and vegetables and things like that. So that you know, cranberries we can't grow. Chamomile probably, aloe yes, feverfew I believe so. Oh, that the fennel. Watch if you want the fennel for yourself, you're gonna have to probably grow it under a netting because your butterflies and and things like that are going to come and consume it. Oh, that's it. right. That's the butterfly attractor. Yeah, that one's yeah, another yeah. one of the butterfly attractors. Uh, though it has some benefits uh, externally as a relaxant when used in the bath. Um, and internally, it does digestion. As it says for asthma, uh, cramps. Doesn't say what kind, but I'm figuring some type of muscle cramp. Um, uh, feverfew garlic uh, everybody has been talking about garlic over the last few years and it's antifungal 
properties and mm. bacterias and things like that, let alone just trying to keep uh, uh, vampires at bay. You know, the, <laughs> But there's always been, you know, uh, kills internal parasites, protects the liver from toxins. It just, uh, it seems to work well. So consume your plenty of garlic in your, you know, if you like Italian cooking. Uh, um, uh, gin, you know, I don't know if I would do anything as, because it said for skin irritations. I really don't know if I'd want to smell like garlic for that. Yeah, really. I'd, I'd go back to one of the other items. Really? <laughs> Instead <laughs> of the else. garlic. The, you know, I'll take the garlic internally. Let me use it in, in many a recipes, et cetera. Uh, ginger, we can grow the gingers generally in a, in a shaded or, or morning sunlight kind of location. Your edible ginger, go to the health food store, go to, go to the farmer's market, go somewhere, find somebody who's actually growing the edible ginger though i have heard all gingers are edible some are more palatable and if you're looking for the better you know benefit of something you you want something you don't isn't, mind isn't uh, ginger um used for um oh gosh in place of uh oh gosh dramamine is that it is the, the is air, ginger, air sickness um, or sea yes, sickness? it could be. Lessons yeah. against dizziness and nausea. Oh, okay. So, yeah, as an internal, uh, soothes toothaches. Um, it's It does do, you know, upset stomachs and things like that. Um, if you, okay, now here with the ginger, if you take a blood thinner, talk to your doctor before using a lot of ginger because it says it keeps blood from clotting, prevents heart disease and strokes. So, and, and you know with a lot of these things, that careful, means yeah. you yeah. have to be careful. And, and really, you're talking about the amount of consumption of, of the specific item mm -hmm. for it to offer that full health, health benefit right, that you right. may actually be, you know, you, you would want something under within your doctor's, you know, your doctor's Good advice, care. yeah. You ready for the phone? Sure. Good morning. You're on the air with Carol Ann. Good morning, with Carol Ann. Yeah, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Uh, yeah, the classic upset stomach remedy was uh, dry toast and ginger ale. There you go. That's right. Yep. <laughs> and grow that in your garden, though. Yeah, no, well, but you can grow your ginger. And, but and ginger, just put it, okay, the yeah. ginger right, ale. Right. Yeah, right. Every time when you were homesick from school, you got to let your mom pour you. Uh, That's why, maybe, yeah, huh? Yeah. Wow. That it did upset stomach. So, see, Canada Dry Head's up. Yeah, right. have a good day. <laughs> Thank <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, you. And that's true. I, yeah, you remember that from back as, you know, when you're home, home sick from school. So Either that or the sleeve of ginger, saltines. In and, ginger ale. Yes, actually, ginger ale is, is, that was, its basis was ginger. It was that, that Makes spicy. sense. Yeah. Makes sense. I mean, well, you know, Coca-Cola, you know, at Got one cocaine time. In it. Yeah, it did at one time, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Going yeah, just to, just for fun to finish going through the list. Of course, anybody wants to call, call in. Got, yeah, no problem on that. Uh, ginseng, I think you can grow that around here. It might be one of those ones that might be a little more for a little more experienced grower. Oh, really? Takes some work. Thing, yeah. Um, it, it internally stimulates immune system, lowers high blood pressure, raises low raises low blood pressure. Hmm. Does both, huh? Yeah. Increases ability to handle stress. Um, you know, again, it sounds like one of those kind of things I would talk with my doctor before using. Any aphrodisiacs on there? Just curious. Um, huh? Not that I see. <laughs> good morning. You're on the air with Carol Ann. Yeah, good morning, guys. Morning. See, one thing I remember growing up many, many years ago back up in Wisconsin as a young little boy were two things. And one was uh, we'd go out in the early spring uh, and, and take water crisp, and you don't hear, you don't see that hear that down here. And no. the other one was my grandmother making dandelion wine. Mm -hmm. Oh I yeah, never hear that down here either. But uh, those are two things that I I can always remember as a child. <laughs> right. You know, I I don't think the dandelions down here are of that same quality it's a different kind of dandelion because yes i i remember sitting in my front yard popping the little heads off of dandelions and pushing shoving them in jars for mom to uh um, really yeah. to, to make dandelion wine dandelions almost like even though everybody calls it a weed it's one of the it's like a perfect plant it uh will do you two beverages and a salad <laughs> you know it, it, it you can get uh you roast the roots and you can make a coffee-like substitute out of it. Really? You can make wine out of the flower blossom, and the greens can be used as a salad green uh, or cooked green. Wow! So, and I believe it's also one of the early um, 
early seasonal, depending on where you where you live, uh, flowers that are going to pop up that that bees and things like that like. Yeah, so. it, this time of year up in Wisconsin, anyways, uh, uh, the fields are just it's just a sea of yellow, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and, and it's a, a very big. It's a very different dandelion than down here. And oh they're, yeah, they're really big and they're tall and they're really it, they're actually beautiful. You know. Yes, they are. Yeah, they are. I I think dandelions. And then when they do make their little seed thing, I mean, how much fun is that? You know, as a as a kid yeah. to 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 pick one of them and and try to blow them all off mm-hmm, in one mm-hmm. breath. That's a lot harder than blowing out birthday candles. <laughs> yeah, well, we, well, we did as a kid well, walking to school with a dandelion. We pick out the, the the blossom part, the yellow part. Yeah. And you come up behind somebody and, oh. and and rub that on either their cheek or their forehead. You know? Right, and you ended up with the yellow. Yes, you did. Yep, yep. Yeah. <laughs> That, that was the way we entertained ourselves at, 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 a, at a, a period a long time ago. Nowadays, right. I think it's a little bit different. Oh, <laughs> uh, probably. Let's hope kids still Maybe do stuff. Maybe not. Like, yeah. We're let's just hope not kids still kids do anymore. stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Make, I, and I making the clover the bracelets. My grandmother's dandelion wine, which I never was, but I know it was a ritual making it, and everybody enjoyed it during right. the holidays and that. But uh, it, it, it looked kind of like clear. I, I can remember it, look, it looking clearish, but uh, I never had a chance to. To, uh, to, taste to, to partake. To passed away for many years, but it's just a, a it's still a wonderful thought thing in those water crisp and dandelion days. There you go. There you go. That's always a good thing to have the good the fond memories of the outdoors. Mm-hmm. Thank you. All right. Thanks for calling. Yeah, that's it. So you, you just hope that kids still do that. So, I mean, if any anybody has kids home here this summer, of course, like I said, we don't have that same dandelion down here. Um, I don't even know, because I don't even have clover. You know, of course, my yard is so shaded. But, you know, it, everybody tries to get rid of the clover in the yard. And it's mm-hmm, like, clover's mm-hmm. kind of cool. I remember as a kid, here we go back to that, is, is you'd pick the flowers and sit in there and tying the stems together yeah, mm-hmm. to make little clover bracelets. Yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah. it was just remember, goofy things you did in the in the summer. Remember, that do you remember those little? I, I think we called them helicopter seeds. They fell off of a tree. Oh, the, the if you split it, you put it on your yeah, nose. Yeah, it was, it was, that was a, from a maple tree. Some was silly it was little Pinocchi- thing. Pinocchio noses. And we don't and, yeah, do that here, huh? Uh, again, I mean, it doesn't uh, grow here. It doesn't uh, grow here. Uh, uh, wrong kind of maple. I think maybe some of the maples have that similar uh, hmm. uh, seed. Type thing, but yes, they were like little helicopters that would spin on their way down, and you yeah. open that up and <laughs> would stick it on your nose, and yeah, had Pinocchio noses. So helicopter we're, seeds. Yeah. Hmm. So we all know them by the same name. Long time since yeah, I thought yes, about them. A, yeah. yeah. Well, things things that children should be doing in the summer, not playing on iPods and. Uh, there, there was there there is a uh, a smell in the air, a, a good smell. When okay. I say the word smell, an, I mean, an aroma, fragrance. fragrance yes, fragrance, yeah, yeah. Uh, in Florida that I've always loved. I don't know what it is, and I'm not talking about the um, orange uh, blossom. I'm not talking about that because that's okay. that I can recognize. Right. But it's, I don't know if it's from the salt. Maybe it's making its way to us from the coast or, or something. I don't know. But this. D- yeah, I don't know. Florida carries all kinds of different uh, yeah. fragrances at different times. But I've often but thought if you bl- blindfolded me and somehow I didn't know where I was, right, I might be able to tell you if I was in Florida just by, mm. by the smell of the air. I know you can probably tell when you get get close to the beach because that was always one of those Absolutely things the that beach, you knew because yeah, yeah. you could smell that uh, high water table and the the salt air. So but yeah, I'm not yeah. sure if you can. Do and that. and I probably could tell you I was in a city, right? So that right. wouldn't be fair because if I was in Tampa, I'm sure it smells no different than then, New York, or, right? You know, right. from the cars and all that, right? Right. But I'm just talking about like in like Rainbow Lakes Estates or someplace where it's yeah. really far away from cars and things right where you have certain 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 smells and things like that yeah, but i uh, don't know what it was exactly yeah we have another phone call right. good morning you're on the air uh good morning uh, morning Sandy. yeah <clears throat> i uh you know i guess everybody's tired about my crepe myrtles but uh, the crepe myrtles also give off a very uh, you know light aroma yeah. yeah yeah they have a light fragrance yeah yes yeah. And I guess if uh, you got enough of them around town, I guess Ocala and every, you know, in Marion County, we're planting them quite extensively sure. there for a few years. And that could be one Maybe of those kind of, yeah. that could be one of those kind of smells is where we have so many of them. So, right. interesting. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, I got a lot of blooms, but they're 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 not 
across the entire tree, this one particular tree. Hmm. Stay, if you want to stay, yeah. on, if you want to stay on the line, you're welcome to do that. We've got to take a little break, uh, and we'll be right back. Uh, phone line is open. If you want to call in, uh, Sunday, if you want to hang on there, you're welcome to do that. We'll right. be right back with Carol Ann. This is in the garden with Carol Ann on WSCA. Fox News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. The day after firing his campaign manager, Donald Trump, speaking out about that decision. Corey did a great job. And uh, by the way, I want to keep that going, but we have a little bit of a change of of, uh, of platform. We have a change of a lot of uh, elements. There were some people that loved Corey. Some people didn't like him as much because Corey was strong and he was tough. I got to tell you, though, I give him a 10. Also telling Fox and Friends he needs support from the Republicans. Meanwhile, we're getting some new numbers numbers on the race for the White House. The latest Quinnipiac University swing state poll shows that Hillary Clinton has opened an eight-point lead over Republican Donald Trump in Florida. She's tied with Trump in Ohio and leads by one point in Pennsylvania. Fox Radio's John Decker and the Colorado mom who saved her five-year-old from a mountain lion says the boy is doing better. Fox News, we report, you decide. Hey, it's me, your car. No, it's not the voice of your car phone or your GPS that gives you driving directions. I'm sorry to interrupt your tunes, but we need to talk. Take a look around. I'm not the new car I used to be. The season's dirt and mud really did a number on my carpet here. And that iced coffee you spilled, hoo-hoo, that didn't help. And with the rain showers and all, I know it's going to be a real mud bath in here. So do me a favor and get a set of WeatherTech floor liners. Got it? Now, how about a wash in detail? What do you say? WeatherTech floor liners and cargo liners keep your vehicle's carpet safe from spills and messes. Made of the highest quality materials and laser measured, WeatherTech floor liners are specifically designed for your vehicle. And they're made in America. If it could talk, your vehicle would thank you. Order yours today at weathertech.com or call 1-800-CARMATS. WeatherTech. Complete protection. Completely American made. All right, 80 degrees, 28 minutes before 10 o'clock. Let's return to Caroline Bolton. And Caroline, I believe Sunny is still hanging on. Sun, Sunny, you still there? Yep. Okay. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> but any, anyway, uh, you know, the, the, uh, that was the only thing was the uh, seems to be splotchy in the way the blooms are coming out. Right. The tree. So, but however, the entire tree, I guess, is doing a lot better with a, uh, that fertilizer. Right. Suggested. About a month ago, right, the right. Le- uh, leaves are the leaves on the branches are very, you know, lot seem a lot larger than I can remember back. Okay, and well, stuff like that. Well, that's you know, is, that. That's probably that's not a big issue. I mean, the leaves are feeding that tree. Right. Well, I just uh, just what I mentioned because I'm looking at it from my window here, and right. some of these leaves are really large on this. But I, I guess now I got to go out there and start trimming because the branches are starting to sag because of all the uh, those seeds. Uh, <laughs> all the uh, all the weight of the flowers, pots. right? Yes. Yeah. What? Yeah. If the flowers are spent on them, go through and snip those. You know, snip those off so that the flush a new flush of growth, and that may even to uh, bolster how much flowering you start to get out of that tree. Um, right. So that's that's what I would I'd be thinking. It's just you know, and, and trees are different from year to year on however that is that they're going to going to bloom. Uh, some years you get a fabulous you know that it blooms like crazy, and then the next year it just seems a little weak. It may not be as as at, you know, uh, less flowering, it just right. may seem, it may have been less than the year before uh, that had a fabulous blooming, and you may have a couple of years where it's just sort of moderate blooming, and then suddenly you get a, a great flush, and, and then we start comparing it again to that wonderful flush of flowering, so... Uh, yeah, as those flowers start to become spent and the seed pods are starting to form, go ahead and trim those off. Watch the the water suckers uh, that come up yeah. along the bottom of them and trim those off of there, too. All right. Well, thank you very much and, uh, for the information and the program. I, yeah. It's a marvelous service, and uh, thank you, WOC, OCA, for uh, your programming. Mm, you're yeah. welcome. Thank Have you for listening. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good day, everybody. Thanks. There's no program if we don't yep, listen, that's right? That's it.
That's it. Yeah, we don't put this. We don't put it out on over the air for fun. I mean, we do, but we have yeah, fun. We, we, have we have fun, fun. but it'd be nice if somebody's listening. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> the 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 uh, crepe myrtle. I just want to say yeah. that I've I've noticed that you can pretty much tame it or let it go wild, and it seems right. to be just as nice either right, way. Right, right. Well, that's a, yeah. People, uh, you know, and and we don't. I I don't like the the hat racking the the crepe murder that gets done. But those trees bloom just as much as the rest of them. Some people will say even. And more and I'm not sure if that's just the tree trying to react to the stresses of going I need to bloom and make seed and reproduce mm-hmm. um, due to this stress I just I don't recommend it only because it does leave that tree susceptible to disease uh, going down the yeah. road um, they have you know that it is one that is accepted there's another one that I believe it's called a, a French pruning where it's actually it's doing something similar to that but not as harsh you're coming up higher and taking off off of more branches where you're letting some of the smaller ones go but they're still coming back to those similar areas and you get those knuckles um gnarly sections and to me those are ugly i don't like them uh i'd rather just let that tree do its thing uh, take off the bottom branches uh, that are that are coming up as water you know that the sucker the sucker branches um prune them after that you know a flush of bloom so that you encourage more more growth because they flower on new growth so if you don't have new growth you don't get flowers so I mean, they will continue to make new growth after the after the bloom, but it, you help it along by pruning some of that off. Of course, if you have a tree that's 20 feet tall, you can't really reach the top, and then you just let nature do its thing. Uh, when selecting those, because they are all in the big box stores now, and the garden centers have them because they're beginning to bloom, or people are seeing them blooming and they want them. Read the tag, buy the one for the location where you're going to put it. Don't buy one that's going to get 20 feet tall if you don't have room for it. (laughs) Or if you're someone who's concerned about pruning it, um, get one that's not quite as tall. They seem to come in all the colors, the same colors, in different sizes. So, you know, if you're looking for a white one, you should be able to find it in a size that you're looking for. You may not find it at your big box store. You may need to go to a private nursery. Um, Those guys, there are small, you know, those are our local businesses. so you know when you're when you're buying from from him the local nursery the bob wines and and such like that out there yes he may be getting them from another grower but again it's a grower here in florida that's yet generally selling to smaller retail locations not to the big box stores as much so you may find a better variety you know you were talking about uh uh, plants that heal. Yes. And I, and I wanted to say something that uh, I don't know if it's going to rub people the wrong way. Right. But but uh, but there's a good ending to this. Right. Okay. The city of Ocala. Somebody had this really wonderful idea of planting these crepe myrtles all over in in the medians right, right, and, and, right. and and to me it really changed it really healed, you know, in a different way the the appeal what, what, what do you call it? like the the, the, the curb appeal? The, yeah, yeah, the attractiveness of the right. downtown area and right. the, and the, the 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 desire to get out of your car and walk around the downtown area. What became more inviting? And it's been a right. long time. I mean, whoever yeah. did did this did it a long time ago. But I right. can remember because I've been here a long time, right. and so have you. Yeah. And don't you remember when downtown was kind of like oh, I don't want to go was there? Barren. Yeah, it, it was sparse. It was it barren was, is a good yeah. word. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it it was not inviting. That's a great word, too. And and greenery, plants, trees, shrubs, planter boxes, hanging ones... uh, you know, all all become more inviting. You you yeah. want to go and look at those kind of things, and um, it brings it to life. I think it. it I does. think the downtown area looked dead, and and I'm talking not even. I mean, more than twenty years, more than thirty years ago. Right, right. Before that, before they did more of a revitalization right, right. into some of those areas. Uh, right when. Um, when the Discovery Science Center was there at the Marion Theater mm-hmm. kind of time. It wasn't real. I mean, they tried to do things to encourage people to come downtown, but it wasn't... But that's about the time they started changing tracks, I think that's tracks, when they right? started, yeah. yeah, when things started to change a little bit. And even then, the, the roads, too, the landscapings that have occurred on... Um, for example, I think the first road I can think of 
that improvements when they did the road and added um, true plantings was 25th Avenue. When they took 25th mm -hmm. Avenue through the McPherson and all the way out to 17th Street or to Maricamp Road, um, everyone had a hard time because, yes, they did remove a lot of the old pecan trees. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that was a big, a big, big problem. Um, and they kind of tried to smooth it over by, you know, saying, well, we're going to plant trees. And they did. Both sides of the road and the median strip are both planted in an attractive manner right, that, right, that right. still provides shade to the road to the areas and things like and that. And some of the it other is, cities uh, in in the state they don't all do I know that uh was it Lake City I went to or Lakeland one of those cities they have a real nice yellow tree that uh, Oh the Tababuya. Is that yeah, what it is? Yeah. It's just like every like we have the the, the, the crepe myrtles, the, the crepe myrtles. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, so you were probably down in Lakeland. I yeah. think that might be where yeah. it was. Yeah, it was just like wow, they, look at the tree they've got. And so it must right. have been intentional. Right. And different areas, I mean, you get down to Palm Beach and things like that and you, you'll see a lot more of the palms in the tropicals, the mm -hmm. hibiscus yeah, yeah. being used a lot down there. Um and you know, here we have the we have the crepe myrtle. It's a decision tree but it has a structure uh, that's interesting even in the off season when mm -hmm. it's not blooming uh, so I, I think that those that different that change of thought that occurred um, like you say maybe 20 years ago of 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 just a stark here we put in a sidewalk and I don't we think give all the a, cities we give you a on grassy this, strip yeah you, you know which areas I saw it happen in earlier than in Ocala was with my when my employment used to take me down to Mount Dora mm -hmm. and I oh, used yeah. to drive that between area. yeah the Lake County area down there uh, their medians were planted much earlier on than than and well even now on 441 really? Really? Uh -huh. we don't have any medians that are planted on 441 you get out silver springs boulevard and you have some of the areas that but yes, we have started are. putting trees on our interstate exits yes at the exits yeah, and, yeah. yeah and things like that and that's probably florida dot so that's yeah, not yeah. even the local yeah, yeah. uh you know County DOT, but you know that that stretch in Daytona from uh, when you when you go into from the city proper to the Daytona Beach area. area. There's a oh, big yeah. stretch of nothing. I mean, right, there's businesses, right. but but there's not. You not, know what I'm yeah. talking about? Is, is, that, is, is it 192? Lot. What is that road that you're on? Yeah, I think that would be. But it's, yeah. I mean, it's just, and then you force you get to the beach area. And it's beautiful, that, but right. there's that one piece right there. But there's there. a section right that yeah. On I think that's going to any beach. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah maybe. Show. Maybe. Yeah, you always know you're on your your way to the beach when there's a, a two lane road that goes <laughs> and does nothing. But so we need we need to get you into the Radio Hall of Fame. Uh, I don't know if I'm Hall of Michael Fame. Michael Savage, yeah. they want to get him in there. How, how like about him. local people? How about you? Yeah, how about local people? Well, or you? You've been around here. Yeah, but I get paid to do it. You yeah. you do it for free. Well. That's just because maybe I'm not bright. I don't know. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> nobody, uh, nobody has picked us up on syndication. Um, <laughs> if anybody had looked, just because I know we're getting ready to go to a break, I had posted a couple pictures to the In the Garden Facebook group page. Anybody interested? Uh, just if you're on Facebook, look up In the Garden um, as a group. So however you find groups, I'm always forget how I find that's them. It. You just, that's yeah. what you do, go to Facebook. Good, group. Yeah. Um, I, I pissed, posted a couple pictures this morning of root, of the nematodes that had attacked some tomato plants and said, you know, yeah, it's time Ooh, to I'm be, right be now. contemplating. I'm going to do some solarization. I'll probably do it next week. So I think what I'll try to do is is do some pictures of it, of, of how I do it, and get them posted on there. Somebody responded. Uh, with a sad face. What's the yeah. sad face? Yeah. Well, the sad face is that the poor uh, uh, the poor plants. Yeah, I pulled up the tomato plants. They were still making tomatoes. Yeah, you don't uh, want to click like on that. I don't want to yeah, click like. I'm going to do a sad, sad face, too. Yeah, make the sad face. <laughs> but uh, the, the tomato plants still did produce. This time of year, the, you're not going to get much tomato production anyway. So they made it. You know, I grew up the plants big enough. They were still actually producing tomatoes. I just said, you know, time to get those guys out of there so that I can prepare that area for solarization. That's the only proven method um, that that I know of. I, I really should try the sugar thing in another area or something. Um, 
and that, that the university has truly proven that it actually does work, though generally it is temporary. You get a, you get a good you know, year out of it before you're looking at pop, probably oh, doing it again. Crop rotation helps with that as well. just reminded me of something. It was from the University of Florida, and the headline, I'll just read the headline because yeah. we're up against the break. Right. Blueberries provide hidden health benefits. Oh, yeah. I'll give you that story because that All goes right. right along with your yep. plants that heal us a bit. All right, and that's from the University of Florida. All right, we'll yes, take a do. little break and we'll be right back. Got 15 minutes left in the show. If you want to call in, call now. This number is 622 9622. A beautiful day. Not sure a bad day. To get outside. Go, maybe to Daytona. Go to Daytona. <laughs> The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. For this Tuesday, a mix of sun and clouds, high 85 to 89. And mainly clear Tuesday night, low 68 inland, 73 along the coast. For Wednesday, plenty of sunshine, the high 88 to 92. And for Thursday, sunshine mixing with clouds, there can be a passing thunderstorm, the high 90 to 94. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. Has it really been one year? Kim Long Vietnamese Restaurant is having a celebration to commemorate the one-year anniversary since they started on this culinary journey. As part of the celebration, Kim Long will be offering great discounts to their beloved customers as a thank you. For the entire month of June, all meals are 10% off and kids eat free from 3 to 5 p.m. Domestic beers are $1 and import beers are $2. Kim Long is open daily 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. and Sunday noon to 10 p.m. That's Kim Long Vietnamese Restaurant, 1022 South Pine Avenue in Ocala. Need to sell your house? Discover how to easily sell your house fast and for full price in today's market. Join us live this Friday, 9.30 a.m. for Mr. Ocala Real Estate Today. Sell your house now, full price, fast close. Guaranteed. Call 352-282-3080. 352-282-3080. And join us live right here, 9.30 a.m. Friday. Hey Ocala, this is Kelly Hart, executive editor of Ocala Magazine. Did you know last year Ocala Magazine won more awards and excellence than any other publication in Florida? And this year, Ocala Magazine was named best consumer magazine in the state. Now you can join me every Friday at 10 a.m. on Ocala Magazine Radio, where we bring the pages of Ocala Magazine to life, right here on The Source. Ocala Magazine thanks you for making us number one. And remember, there is only one Ocala Magazine. Putting the local back into radio. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. W-O-C-A News. Variety. Information. Now. Keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times. All right, 12 minutes before 10 o'clock, 78 degrees. Wow, dropped two two degrees, Carolyn. Look at that. Today, by the way, National Peaches and Cream Day today. Oh, peaches. And see, now i got a couple of peaches finishing ripening ripening on the counter at home while they're in their little paper bag. Did you grow them yourself? Nah. No? Nah, they're Georgia peaches. Tell the audience about Um, the snake. Yes, yes. I didn't get a picture of the snake, or or there's no video, which I'm so glad because that would have been... No, that would have been a great video. It probably would have gone viral, like you said. No. Yesterday, I'm walking through my yard, and my dog spots about a four to five foot yellow rat snake. Harmless. He's not going to do anything. He'll make you hurt yourself, which I actually know the dog hurt me with it. That dog grabbed, which my <laughs> dog weighs about 80 pounds, so he's pretty big. Grab the snake. Grab the snake off the side of the tree and just whipped it Whoa. around, and he hit me in the back with it. Oh, no. Because I'm trying to, you know, I'm Was trying he, to grab Did he have the, the head in his mouth no, or the tail? No, he had it by the tail. Oh, had no. Had it by the tail and just whoosh, and, and, and it did. It hit me like a, like a rope with a knot on it oh, you, know, no. you know and and of course i'm going to myself where is that snake going because you've just whipped it and i don't want to step on it i don't want to oh, be after he with whipped it. you after, yeah, it was after, out of it his was, mouth it was out of his mouth oh, it was it no. was right he swung it to to 
kill it, harm it, get it at it off of his property. And of course, the crazy, <laughs> wild, wacky dance. I'm sure I did. I'm surprised it didn't twist my back or something, or <laughs> I bet or a knee I bet or, you did or a something dance. like that. I go, where is the snake? Did it leave and, a welt or a mark? And it, I went and looked, and it left a little red mark for a few minutes, oh, and man. it was like, ouch, crazy dog. And, uh, and had to hold the dog, get the dog away, and uh, just <laughs> not so that the snake wasn't going to hurt him. I didn't want him to hurt the snake. Right, and, right, right. And get right. the snake, at, and finally got the dog distracted enough that the snake slithered off. And uh, you know, hopefully we'll you know go back to what he was doing and and watch out for that dog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, I bet he will. Yeah, yeah ho- hopefully. But wow, so you, so you you really are okay with coexisting now? Had it been a rattlesnake, would you have killed it? No, probably no. not. Probably would have just had him moved off the off mm. the immediate property. Yeah, we've had um, we've had pygmy rattlesnakes. Now the pygmies, if they're too close to the house, yeah, I'll do those in just because they're an aggressive little mm. snake, and dogs are very susceptible to being bit. Though, I had a cat get. Uh, at least a minor strike from a pygmy rattlesnake she did fine she wouldn't walk on the ground outside for a couple months she'd stand on top of stuff yeah and stuff well she's the one who picked on the snake she started (laughs) it um but you know her her little forearm swelled up to like twice the size of what it was and the vet says well you know if if she makes it through the night bring her in we'll give her an antibiotic so we gave her an anti. she got an antibiotic and she was fine yeah the i just don't want to have to go through that so pygmies if they're too close to the house yes i will dispatch them but But the dog whipping you with the snake yeah that that hurt that's That's something you couldn't possibly have predicted no no i had no idea he was gonna i try i reached for his collar at about the same time he reacted and grabbed him and because of the length of it it just and the length of my dog it just whipped right around behind him and i'm going i have no <laughs> idea where that snake's going <laughs> trying to get oh, out of no, the way oh, yeah no. so that was that was fun and, and exciting so that's crazy but, crazy yeah. dog what's your yeah. dog's name it's hunter 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 good name yeah. for a dog yeah good name yeah but uh you handed me a snake story hunter. yeah snake hunter yeah <laughs> and, and he does like to tree the raccoon um which I haven't seen in a while. So the raccoon probably got tired of it and has gone elsewhere. Mm, yeah. um, but you handed me a story about blueberries providing hidden health benefits. Right. And again, this falls on that same thing, that there it's a dark-colored fruit. You know, cranberries are dark red. Blueberries are your dark blue. You're looking for the, you know bright colored foods you know eat the rainbow and they don't mean a bag of skittles <laughs> but they they the claims on the the from the past few years studies have been shown that people who eat blueberries have lower risks of heart disease and cancer um and this is you know that has gotten a lot of high pl- wide publicity but they're also showing uh other benefits uh, including slowing of aging aiding vision and improving memory so these are some things that we have blueberries. We grow blueberries in Florida. There's a lot of you pick places. Uh, you can, you know, put them in pancakes. You can put them with your granola. You can throw them in yogurt, put them in a smoothie. Mm-hmm. You can have blueberries in so many different ways that, you know, or just eat them plain. Uh, my grandson had a nice, and, and to me, whatever they say is serving size, double that. Then it's a right size serving because <laughs> that's, you know, that little handful, that's not enough. Um, but they, you know, that uh, it said find out how much consumers know about blueberries. Uh, team at University of Florida surveyed more than 2,000 people in 31 states, mostly on the East Coast and Midwest, to see what they knew about blueberries. And they said most of the respondents were aware that blueberries would could help lower cancer rates and help with heart disease, uh, but less about the other. Uh, benefits, but they also found out too that more low-income people uh, didn't really know about hmm. the health benefits, and and I base that on on that they just aren't tuned into news sources <laughs> or don't listen to those well, kind of things. Free, you know, news yeah. talk is free, right. free radio, right? And, and it, it, yeah, it is, but I just think that a lot of times it's just not tuned into not I part think of, you're right not yeah. part of that that just the cultural habits when right, in a lower right. income household but um 
you know, they're saying the fact that cancer and heart disease are leading causes of death in America may lead to more personal research uh, related to preventing these diseases and, you know, maybe a little more awareness um, on a local market because, you know, a lot of your UPIC farms are out there in the country, so transportation becomes an issue for some people. But in the in the stores and things like that, blueberries blueberries have a tendency to be a little bit pricey. But mm. when you can find them, if you can get them, you pick. If you can get them at a at a local corner farmer's market, the little guy with the produce stand, something like that, you know, stock up on some blueberries. They freeze well. Uh, they are one of the easy things to freeze. Pretty much just rinse them. Uh, you might throw them on a cookie sheet uh, with some parchment papers. Makes them easier to, to get off of there. And then just throw them in some Ziploc baggies and uh, or hmm. little plastic containers that, you know, stack well in the freezer. And, and you've got them for other uses. Uh, so... Blueberries are a good thing to eat. Makes me start to want we got, we got uh, a blueberries. box of grape nuts and a, and a bunch of blueberries. Robert and I did a gig, and we got blueberries, a bag of blueberries, two bags as a tip. Oh, as nice. a tip. As a tip. Yeah. So they became nice. um, an addition to the pancakes I made one morning. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. Always nice to do. Yeah, and when you can do blueberry muffins, blueberry pancakes. Now, here we go. We always fall back to food. <laughs> How do we do that? But that's probably because we can grow our own food. And New Zealand has a rumor, of course it's a rumor, right, that right. gardening was made illegal That's, and people are going nutty with their f- the heck, with the, textbook with the, things, right. I mean Facebook things and... And, uh, right, and, and it's a yeah. rumor, but they're believing it, I guess. Yeah, and, and people, yeah. When you see rumors like that, there's always the one, you know, going around that they're going to charge you for Facebook. Snopes it. You know, Snopes is probably international. Wow. And, and just, you know, they, they do a lot of checking in on that stuff. But I'd like to see them outlaw gardening. I think in America we yeah. would see that a story like that and go, well, if it's true, come and get me. Cause come and get um, Yeah, bring, bring your bulldozer in your concrete <laughs> because you're going to have a fight on your hand digging up my potatoes. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> so, oh, another, just a real quick one. There was a thing on, uh, saw a little video on Facebook this morning while I was waiting, uh, where they were growing a rose bush in a potato. And it was from a cutting from off a rose bush, and it's basically you're using the potato to root the rose bush in, but you plant the whole thing and that you get the potatoes and you have your roses at the same time. Huh. Just realize when you see that video, the pot that they put them in is too small to grow potatoes in. Uh, really probably too small to grow that rose bush in and that when you go to harvest your potatoes, you're probably going to do some damage to your rose bush. But it might be fun just I'm to try anyway. I'm confused what they're doing. I, that sounds they, they crazy. They took and drilled a hole in a potato yeah. and put a cutting of a rose but bush. But you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't want to eat the potato, would you? It wouldn't hurt the potato because, uh. I mean, that potato is going to be the seed for the other potatoes that will grow. Oh, but does it supply food to the to the rose bush? Initially, uh, yeah. Okay. Initially, it's keeping that rose uh Moist or that cutting moist to where it can root, and I mean it, it's it's another one of those little silly kind of gimmicks. Do you want to try it? Eh, maybe put it in a big enough pot hmm. so that the potatoes can actually grow, and um, and you may actually be able to salvage the rose bush if you give that enough room. So I'm thinking something seven gallons at least. So the little one is going to look real puny for a while. Yeah. But yeah, And yeah. for us, you'd be waiting till uh, probably about January to start that. This time of year, your potatoes just won't make it through the summer. So something in January to think about. And that's not too bad a time, too, to do, to do roses. So. The person who came up with the, the slogan, the incredible edible egg, mm-hmm. came up with an, an ingenious slogan. Oh, yeah. I bet you the potato people were saying, Damn, why did we think of that one? The yeah. incredible edible potato. It just doesn't rhyme. <laughs> well, yeah. this incredible egg. edible egg. You just got the E thing going. <laughs> oh, is that what I, this? All those, yeah. The incredible. Okay, okay. Uh, ed- the edible egg. You know, it kind of it has a smoothness. <laughs> the incredible edible potato. It just sort of uh, does, doesn't do it for me. I'm sorry. You're, but it is incredible. Yeah, it is an incredible vegetable, isn't it? Eh, no, doesn't not it have quite lots of vitamins in it? Potatoes, eh, a little bit. It's, it's one of those things, though, that some people try to avoid when they're trying to lose weight. That's what they but say, it's, yeah. But because, to me, it's a naturally growing one. We haven't done anything to process the nutrition in or out of it. Having a nice baked potato is is good for you. It depends on what you put on it that makes it fattening and unhealthful. But if you put a nice, you know, broccoli and, and things like that or do your taco meat up and, you know, make a taco potato, it works. 
Wow, we are at the end already. We're at the end. Another Tuesday. Another Tuesday. In the can. And, and so to speak. So. <laughs> in, the, in the computer. In the, right. The, right. All of Carol Ann's shows, by the way, are recorded, and you can share them, watch them again, and uh, it's always fun to look at the numbers as they change. Certain topics, I think, get more more viewers. And oh, I'm sure. It depends on what you're talking about. That's it. Uh, thank you, Carol Ann. Thank you, Larry. And if you're out and about, you might want to take a ride. Go to Daytona. Daytona might be in your it plans. Could be, yeah, could yeah. be. Soak up some sun. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Carol Ann. Thanks, Larry. <laughs> Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Lillian Wood.